Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay... How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. She need to mind her business. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? The bell attracted the walkers. It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! I'm in swinging that shovel. Kitty! Little too close, don't you think? No! Ben! Help her! Wow. I shot no. that thing. Thank God. Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now. I'll be fine. Just go. He told us to go. I would have went back for him. I would have went back for him. I knew it. I'll get the door. My man's is gonna be a liability without his lay. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Careful, man. Mm. It's no good, I can't get it. Here, 
let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like oh, hell. Oh, man's knee about to bust out of his leg. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Dead dog, that's nasty. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So. When were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Get Who gives a shit about the damn radio? Bro. I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. We should have went and looked for Chuck, honestly. Place seems secure, at least. I honestly, feel better when we know that for sure. So I'd trade need him to check for the Chuck. Whole house. All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Oh, man. Too much is happening in this game. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's we... right up ahead. Okay, cool. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? You need to lower your voice. You're trying to survive. I don't know if 
But the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Oh, my God. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? Yo, watch your tone, Kenny. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. That's a telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. I heard a zombie. I started moving. What the fuck? What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. What in the world? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Solid. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Kenny finna shoot this guy. In the world, no. No. What is Clementine doing here? Clem? Please don't hurt him. Yo, where is Kenny? You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! Hmm. 
Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Why is she way You guys that? really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Better follow her. You're just gonna let her go? Hey, you can't just leave us here. Really? Watch. No, please, please don't leave us. Clementine, the only reason we're not dead. Come on, make it fast. 
Bench pressing. Jump up on the dumpster, jump on the dumpster, jump on the dumpster. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Pick that up. Yo, jump in there. If it were me, I would have jumped in the dumpster and went up. Maddie, what's up? Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, God. Okay, I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Is he okay? You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Oh, yeah. God. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No, 
She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right. I don't Bree. like this girl. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. She's being so pushy. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. See, at least he's a good man, you know. And I brought back a doctor with me. Also, where's Clementine? Or why his body look like that? Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Alright, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yo, Maddie, I appreciate the light. Ain't no way, it's a boat. Someone call Kenny. Someone call Kenny. Whoa. I know, right? Is Kenny finally gonna stop drinking? Thank you. Put it down. We got a boat now, but Kenny's still drunk. Oh, uh, is Omi dead? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? I'm playing Smite, hey, but I'll keep watching. if your friend watching. really can get yeah, that boat working, it. you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Good news. I think we could all use some good news. Good news is the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? 
We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Someone's finna I mean, die. Close, I can see it now. I don't know. Maybe it could Someone, work. I've Someone's thought about it die. before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Me My goodness. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Leave the kid. Leave the kid. He sold us out to the bandits. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. This is gonna hit me. This is gonna like come kill me you? later. I don't know. I mm. fine. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Oh my! Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you.
What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! <sighs> Oh, we got a whole map. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Oh, it's not. Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Nah, she was a part so of Crawford. Just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close Where's to Where's Clementine? Us. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Whoa. What in the world? Leave him! He's mine. Where the hell have you been? Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, oh. yeah. Nice. That'll work. GG's. You better pump. Oh god, he's finna crawl in. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. So where's the terminal? It's off. 
The negative terminal still screwed on. The negative terminal still screwed on. So take it off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Come on. Move your ass. Go. Climb. What you waiting for, bro? Great. Now what? Jump. Skyline. It's shot. Shoot it out. Cool, cool, cool. She kind of, she's stronger than Kenny. Kenny dropped me like twice. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. All right, cool. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, Damn. I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Yeah, it's not my place to talk. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Oh. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. Oh, my. You don't leave friends behind. Are they gonna That's be my vote. Are they gonna make me be the deciding I vote? I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. As long as I'm mad at me. Don't we get a say? Oh, is she gone? She talk about getting a say. You too busy getting eaten. Oh God! Now can we go? Damn right, Vernon! Come on! Yo, grab the guns. There better be an M16 in there. Spent all that time trying to bust that door down. Ah. 
So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! Ooh! You better close that door, bro. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! That's an ace right there. Is that Clementine? Gonna move Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Jump. I'm jumping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. You can stay. Ben could have been me, I'd be climbing. Go, you would have thought I was Spider-Man. Bro. Lee, we both know. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Goodbye, bro. I Let went and tried go. to save him. After he said that, drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him, drop him, drop him, drop him, drop him. I don't care. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. Damn. We got to go. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. 
Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Dang. <laughs> what did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. What? Well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Bro, whose man's is this? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Or what? Or what? Oh god. That's scary. Oh, did I just tab out my game? Did I just get bitten? Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. He kidnapped her. Trust that fucker. He kidnapped her. Is. I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. Us? Oh, is that a bite? Did he Damn really right. bite me? We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, but I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you almost let me die. Do this Kenny alone. has left me to die to on countless Please. occasions. Might not have been keeping Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt.
Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy... Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. to be continued.